Hi, this is Barbara Reynolds, and for this week's information speech, I have my lovely audience. Hi! <laughs> As an international business major, the main item that is drilled in our brains is the marketing mix. So I'm going to talk about the marketing mix and the four P's of marketing. And this just helps you to understand how to position your market offering. So first of all, what is marketing? The definition is very simple and many marketers say it this way. It's putting the right product in the right place at the right price and at the right time. So it's very simple. You need to create a product that a particular group of people will want. You put it on sale someplace that those same people visit regularly. Then you price it at a level which mark which matches the value they feel they can get out of it. And then you do all of that at a time they want to buy. Then you've got it made, you've got a product. So, first of all, we're gonna talk about the four P's of marketing. The marketing mix and the four P's of marketing, often, are, they're often used as synonyms for each other, but in fact, they're not necessarily the same thing. The marketing mix is a general phrase used to describe the different kinds of choices organizations have to make in the whole process of bringing a product or service to market. The four P's is one way, probably the best known way though, of defining the marketing mix and it was first expressed in 1960 by E.J. McCarthy. So the four P's are first, product or service, then you have place, price, and promotion. And a good way to understand the four P's is maybe by the questions that you need to ask to define your marketing mix. The only way you're going to find these answers is to ask good questions. So here are some questions that will help you understand and define each of the four elements of the marketing mix. So for product and service, to figure out what your product is and how it benefits your customers, you can ask questions like, what does the customer want from the product slash service? What needs does it satisfy? If your product is not satisfying a need for the customer, if the customer doesn't need your product, then it's kind of a useless product that won't make you any profit. And also, what features does it have? Are there any features you've missed out? Are you including costly features that the customer would actually use? And how and where will the customer use it? Or what does it look like? And how will customers experience it? Or what sizes, colors should it be? What is it to be called and how is it to be branded? And also how is it differentiated versus your competitors? Those are all very important questions that go into making a product. And if any of these are missed out, then you're going to have an issue of selling your product successfully. So next we have place. So some questions you can ask for place are where do buyers look for your product or service? And if they look in a store, what kind of a store? A specialist boutique, uh, a direct, or a direct via catalog or online? And also how can you access the right distribution channels? And do you need to use a sales force or attend trade fairs or make online submissions? What do your competitors do and how can you learn from that and or differentiate? And for price, we can say that price is all about value. If the product doesn't have any value, then your customers are not going to want it. So what is the value of the product or service to the buyer? And are there established price points for products or services in this area? You can ask questions like what discounts should be offered to trade customers or to other specific segments of your market? How will your price compare with your competitors? And is the customer price sensitive? Will a small decrease in price gain you extra market share, or will a small increase be indiscernible and so gain you extra profit margin? Then we move on to the last one. It's called promotion. And promotion is basically this. Where and when can you get across your marketing messages to your target market? So it's your deliverance. How do you deliver that product? And will you reach your audience by advertising in the press, or on the TV, or radio, or on billboards? by using direct marketing mail shot through PR or on the internet. And also, when is the best time to promote? Is there a seasonality in the market or are there any wider environmental issues that suggest or dictate the timing of your market launch or the timing of subsequent promotions? And also, how do your competitors do their promotions and how does that influence your choice of promotional activity? Those are all things that should be kept under consideration. 
And the four pillars of marketing is just one of the many lists that have been developed over the years. And while the questions we have list, uh, that I listed above are key, they're just a subset of the detailed probing that may be required, maybe to optimize your marketing mix. So those are the four pieces of marketing. And just for a quick review, I have made a visual that basically just summarizes what we just went over. So if you could please turn your attention to the screen. For the marketing mix, you have the product. Remember, the product is simply this. What needs does it satisfy? And for the place, where do buyers look or purchase this product? And then for price, what value does the product have? And then for promotion, what mar how are you going to market to your audience? There are several avenues for marketing and how are you going to market to your audience and what is the best marketing channel that will work to reach your audience? So this is, uh, that's the four pieces of marketing. I hope you enjoyed uh, my informative speech on it. It's very helpful for a lot of people going into business to learn the four pieces of marketing as that really helps you uh, create a strong marketing mix. Thank you so much.